will put it in the air in Atlanta. Game three of the season for the Jackets against the Citadel Bulldogs. A short kick beyond the 10. And the fair catch made, Remus Bulmer. In their win, so here's a third down long and a chance for a three and out to start for the defense. Yeah, 24-18 for Wake at home against North Carolina last night to get ACC play started. Around the end, Dante Smith, and he's corralled. Campbell had a big week in the loss against Elon last week. An outstanding young player here, Matt Campbell. Campbell, one of 28 players from the state of Georgia on the Citadel roster. This is Brown. And he'll get stopped near the 30-yard line. The punt was 47 yards. The return is four yards from Amari and Brown. Johnson looking left all the way. Floats this one into Citadel territory near the 42-yard line. About it going downfield. Here's a little ISO. And you know Barrett in coverage really does a good job, but he can't run past. Inside the 35 for Terry Howard, Jr. Nice patience and nice vision. All the bad finding the hole there, making it third down and manageable. That was a 12-yard pickup. This is Smith. He might have lost yardage there. He'll lose two. Harris, second leading rusher on the team behind Rainey. His third down, and Rainey's going to be wow. second effort. They had him stopped, it appeared, but Rainey kept it moving. Citadel converted its last third down attempt. This one beyond the 40. It's going to be really close. Needed to get to about the 41 as Curry made the tackle on Harris. <laughs> the energy doesn't stop with Jeff Collins, does it? It's a, he's got a lot of juice himself. The pitch. And Joku inside the 40 and pushed out of bounds near the 35-yard line. Ryan McCarthy right there is that outside receiver. You don't see him anymore because he's driving Trace Willing all the way down the football field. Got that same kicker here. He kicked a 48 yarders he tied up last year in Alabama. Rainey throws it as an open man inside the 10 and a Citadel touchdown. Raleigh Webb on the catch for the Bulldogs and they're in the end zone first. touchdown. Third TD pass for the season for Rainey James. Everybody wants a piece of that rock. They want to go stop the run, but don't forget about Deuce Deuce over in the corner. But instead, you forget about Raleigh Webb, who had a touchdown pass, a 27-yarder against Elon, and he gets another one here today in Atlanta. Tobias Oliver scoops it up, makes a move at the 15. Oliver cradles it to the 40. Tripped up near the 45-yard line. Tobias Oliver on the return of 42 yards for the Jackets. You know, here's the replay. The one thing you didn't see in that replay was, was the bobble. The ball went down to the turf, and sometimes that can serve as a little bit of a blessing. It's going to take off out of that pocket. Up to the 45-yard line, and based on the spot, that should be a first down. Barrett, the junior from Columbia, South Carolina, in that secondary. Johnson on um, corks it deep inside the five. There were two defenders back there. And lucky, actually, on that last one, but it, it wasn't intercepted. Punt from Harvin. Botkin is back deep. Wants the fair catch at about the 12 and makes it successfully. The pitch, Sessions was separated from the football at the very end of the play. Challenged by Coach Collins, and he has answered the call this season. Number two for the Jackets. He should get his name on that turnover board, because that's similar. Brown on the hop, laterally, down that 30-yard line, and he runs out of real estate. For three on third down of the game for Georgia Tech. Johnson again, running out of that pocket. And running for a first down beyond the 40 for Georgia Tech. Two very important third down conversions for the Citadel on their scoring drive of 80 yards in the first quarter. Jordan Mason back towards the middle of the field. Pinballs his way down to the 45-yard line. Butkin had to make the tackle. First down jackets on 14 yards from Mason. It's number nine. Eubanks is the best tackler on this squad. He's got him dead to right. No, he doesn't. Kept those feet moving. Now it's back across the grain and up into the paint. From the 45, Oliver. 
Down to the 25-yard line, Tobias Oliver as Justin Mack made the tackle 20 yards on that play. Of Tobias Oliver here this season. His first chance at quarterback today. Runs it right side. Turns the corner. Oliver dives for the pylon. Stepped out. Stepped out. Last year. And you know, one thing about this revolving door in a lot of these spots, especially the quarterback spot, and there you see him stepping out right before he launches into the end zone. Would have been a touchdown. It's a low snap. Oliver tosses it out to the end zone. And a touchdown. Jordan Mason took the flip from Oliver and into the end zone. Watch him pitch this ball. He gets up there. First goes down low to get it. Holds the defenders off of him with his left hand. Big man 27. He knows exactly what to do with it. Extra point is no good. And as a starting college quarterback, it's very exciting and it's very humbling. He's always been a very humble and uh, caring kid. So when you see good things happen, kids like that, it really makes it extra exciting. Thanks so much. Thank you. Down in six for Citadel. Rainey dancing around. Rainey hit at the 40. And knocked to the ground by David Curry. A loss of four on the play for the Bulldogs. There is a flag that comes out late. Flag on the play, and it's going to help him out. Look at the protection up front. Rainey had time, but the secondary of Georgia Tech gave him nowhere to go. It's like conduct. Number 96 defense. His first of the game toward disqualification. 15-yard penalty and an automatic first down. Remember, it was USF that helped out Georgia Tech last week in this area in the game. This is Rainey, close to the first down marker. Sacks last week against South Florida. He was the linebacker of the week of the ACC. Second and seven of the pitch. Bulmer toward the 20-yard line. You don't see it very often, but it's third and 31. Rainey the pass. It's intercepted at the 35. David Curry for the Yellow Jackets. And up to the 44. That's the third personal foul of the game. Here's Curry right here. Reads it the whole way. There's no real play fake, so he's dropping right into coverage. <laughs> and a nice job to go up and, and get that football. Johnson got away from the initial pressure, but can't get past the 25-yard line and goes down. Fourth down. ACC fans know the name Grantham. It's Tony Grantham, though. No, not Todd that used to be up there at Louisville. And Tony Grantham drawing it up to Tech and a chance to get the ball back here with 545 left in the first half. Harvin punts to Lane Botkin from the 32-yard line. Botkin kept his balance for a moment and stopped at the 33. Biggest requirement to earn the right to wear his number. Junior Chris Martin was Brandon, Brandon's best friend, wore the number 90 for the season opener against Clemson, and then Tyler Cooksey wore it last weekend. With a third down and one, if they can convert. Rainey behind his blockers, another second effort, and it appears that Rainey has enough near that 41-yard line. Again, 30 rushes in the game for the Citadel. Here's number 31 on the pitch. First down, and Joku near the 22-yard line. Again, Ryan McCarthy. He's going to be outside here right there blocking his guy, and it does a great job. Keep this alive with two-yard gain here. 0 for 1 in the red zone of the game. Rainey runs it. First down, 12-yard line, three yards, Brandon Rainey. From the 12-yard line of Georgia Tech. Rainey the pitch. Dante Smith at the goal line. And in for the score. Dante Smith for the Bulldogs. Touchdown, Citadel. 13-6. Extra point pending. The play of a touchdown is under further review. Well, there's no pylon to hit. The previous play is currently under review. Well, James, here's the thing I see when I first look at that. I didn't see him step out of bounds no. anywhere in that field. Oh, no. I'll just say that. 
whether that ball broke the plane or not because it's in his right hand and right. then he gets spun around right that's to be determined so it appears right there he may have it does but with what is now we're finding out the call on the field this will be our best look right here this will be our look because you can put those other three piece them all together home this past week but they uh they seem locked in right now anyway in the first half yeah they went to travelers rest south carolina near greenville to train for the week up near the 30 and taken down that was Nathan Cottrell. Johnson back to pass. Floats it over the middle. It's knocked away. Looking for Tyler Davis. Answers the call to get him off the field. Harvin on the punt to Botkin. He's going to let it bounce and roll inside the 10, inside the 5. Harvin's punt down at the 4-yard line. Five for eight on third down, the game for the Citadel. Out of Charleston, South Carolina, and the Southern Conference in the Football Championship Subdivision. That's Clay Harris. And to do more of the same here. Nice field position to start, that's for sure. Lucas Johnson going deep towards the end zone, adjusting to the football, and making the catch for a touchdown. It's Jalen Camp, 33 yards on the play. game they start the second half and it's one shot and it's exactly what you needed Botkin was in great position Johnson sends Jordan Mason wide look at his way Johnson fires it to the goal line and it's caught conversion and camp has the two-point conversion and the 33-yard TD reception off the arm of Lucas Johnson. Empty set. You've got four wides to the right when Mason gets out there in motion. And just, you've got four guys to cover. But Georgia Tech has only lost once to a team from the football championship subdivision. And that was against Furman back in 1983 as Clay Harris hops over to 40 and moves the stick. Boy, look at the surge. A lot of times you talk about the penetration on the defensive side disrupted. Well, and then they got their heads up right after that touchdown to tie it. How about this, Lindsay? Another first down. So here comes Georgia Tech. How excited they are. How about that South Carolina win? You know, there's a lot of South Carolina kids there, too. A couple years ago, that must have been huge. Pitch out to Smith. And that's enough for a first down. Tackle for the Jackets. Well, it's working inside, so now I'm going to cheat inside a little bit. And now I'm going to outside. Trying to get off the field here, at least force a fourth down and short. Rainey close to it. And Rainey down inside the 22-yard line for a first down. Come around and see what kind of leader he is off of the field. That You hear all the stories, but you certainly see it in action here today on the field as a player. Rainey, some space to the goal line. And a touchdown on the ground from Brendan Rainey. 22 yards and a Citadel TD. The shirt that his mama had on when Lindsay talked to her earlier. She had that great big smile on her face then. Oliver provided a serious spark in the second quarter when Georgia Tech went for a score, and there goes Oliver, second level. Into Citadel territory, and Reed is forced to make the tackle again. Two games of the season when you turn on the tape and you see guys that have, that, that have, have some electricity to them that are game changers. And dial something up here in the third quarter and respond to the touchdown by the Citadel to take a seven-point lead. And right now, James, the answer is number eight in Tech Gold. Got four there. Just two for six on third down. Mason working his way based on the spot. It's at about the 24. He might be a little bit short after the five-yard gain. Mason wants it. Diving. He's got to get to that 23-yard line. And they need five yards here. They're going to get it and more. That's the 40. Remus Bulmer, head of steam. First down after a 12-yard gain. 
taking the punch to the guys in the gold jerseys. Look at all the hats on hats. And that's guy Johnny Kerr. Uh -oh. Rainey flag is out. It looked like a face mask. It's, it, it'll be it'll be another 15-yard penalty. Are taking care of the starter over there on the sidelines, Brandon Rainey. Murdoch, 15-yard line and a first down. Productive work coming in in relief of Rainey. He'll pitch uh -oh. it. It was deflected and recovered by Harris back near the 35-yard line. Charlie Thomas <laughs> deflected that pitch. Quiz is almost out of field goal range. They've got a, a nice kicker. How about the reaction there by Charlie Thomas? 48-yarder by Godek against Alabama last year. Godek for the field goal. It is no good. Mason is the back. He has a touchdown run down in the second quarter of four yards, and that was an Oliver-led drive. Long pass to camp, and it's on schedule at the 40. Oliver's pass complete. Jalen Camp just camping out. There's nobody anywhere near. Jalen Camp's TD catch was 33 yards from Lucas Johnson in the third. Oliver, 25-yard line. First down, Georgia Tech. Tobias Oliver has very good vision of what's going on in front of him, too. To the right side, Mason to the goal line, diving in, and a touchdown. It's, it's nice to share that rock with a lot of people on this offensive side of the ball, but those two guys, the one-two bunch of Tobias Oliver and Jordan Mason, they can take over a football game with just the athleticism and, and the speed like that, and not to mention blocking down the field. Jalen Camp, who had the catch to start this drive. Murdoch. That's short of the first down by at least a yard. He got two. Murdoch carries the football. Mm. Looks like a first down for Clay Harris. But they had been five of six on fourth down this season. And Rainey doing all he can to get back out there, but Brian Murdoch is in charge now. They're going to go the other direction. Raleigh Webb into Georgia Tech territory. Now it all just gets set up. Hey, they're beating us here. They're beating us here. So everybody goes flying out of there, and they run themselves out of position. You get a free five, and they do just that. Second down and three. Murdoch has a hole left side. First down, 36-yard line. You see that field goal target line for Godek. Just about three yards away from the football. Murdoch to the 30. Four yards, David Curry the tackle to put the Citadel ahead inside of two minutes in regulation. The 47-yarder on the way. And Godek wow. connects. The 47-yard field goal by Godek is good. Student with the snap, puts it right down. And making sure he didn't miss to the right this time. <laughs> it was just as much inside that left post this time as it was outside on that first try. Look at Brent Thompson. <laughs> Citadel's going to have to find a way to stiffen. Oliver and Cottrell with Eatman. Oliver, a step deep. And here he comes. Oliver. 30-yard line. Oliver cut it to 40. And up near midfield, Tobias Oliver. Flexibility is a, a phrase that you hear around here quite a bit. Guys playing offense and defense, multiple positions. Here's your quarterback. Here's the guy that you're going to lean on to help go win this football game. Oliver's got a TD pass to his credit today to Jalen Camp. Wants to fire, looking for Camp. Sliding grab inside the 40. Jackets quickly over that ball. Citadel having a tough time getting lined up. Johnson dumps it off. It's complete to Mason. First down and more. Mason near the 30-yard line. John 
Jackson. He's taken down at the 40. 76 is Dewey Green. It's a snap that's been low all day, and they, they still that extra beat gives them a chance to get back there in the time, and now they're quickly over the balls. We're near 45 seconds. Over the middle. It's complete near the 30-yard line. Third and 12. They'll pitch it off. This is Mason. That's out of the 12-yard line. Jordan Mason. Jordan Mason for the Yellow Jackets. Nice job over the football. They look sharp and able to get the snap off. It looked like. Flag on the play. Just get a penalty here of five yards. Try to snap. Snap infraction. Number 55 offense. This foul occurred with under one minute to play in the second half of the game clock running. By rule, it includes a 10-second runoff. Clock operator. Please set the clock to 13, 13 seconds. seconds. Start it on the way to the play. 34 yards away for Brenton King to tie this game. Oof. It is good. Not by much. Oh, oh, oh. Bretton King, nice snap, nice hold by Lucas Johnson, the quarterback. Just inside that right upright. A short gain on first down. Back and forth with two point conversion tries. Whoa, that was close on the exchange there to Mason from Oliver. Johnson, pressured, and he gets taken down at the 30-yard line. Joseph Randolph, the second, loss of six. With a great defensive play on first down, then you got him behind in that game, and then here comes that blitz, and nowhere to run. The pressure not only from the edge, but up the middle. Brenton King made it from 34 yards as time expired. That is no good. Outside the right pipe from King. You forced that field goal here, though. Ooh. Harris got nothing. Maybe he lost half a yard. 37 yards away. Jacob Godek to win it for the Bulldogs. He got it. The 